Hey, what's up? This is Connix, and today I'm going to be showing you the first preview of the new 1.8.2 version of Serato Scratch Live. Uh, 1.8.2 is mainly just going to be a maintenance release, uh, a lot of bug fixes, but there are a couple new features that are worth mentioning. Uh, one of the main ones is the new library zoom text uh, feature. Now, a lot of people have been asking for a while now if for a way to increase the text size uh, of your track listing and your crates because it is kind of small and you know a lot of us are blind DJs and stuff or we have to put the computer far away from us so and the text size makes it really hard to look for tracks sometimes especially in you know dark clubs or whatever but so now you can increase the text size in scratch live to do it you just hold the control key down and press the plus button and that will increase the size if you're on a Mac computer you can use the control key or the Apple key so control or Apple plus the plus key to increase the font size and I'm going to demonstrate that now there's seven different uh, zoom levels this is the default one so here's increase one two three four five six and seven so as you can see, you can get very large font sizes now. I believe that's uh, probably about a 20-point font. And so there you go. That's good for all us blind DJs out there. And for those that have been wanting to be able to increase the font size of your library. So let me zoom back out now. Oh, oh yes. Uh, to zoom back out, you just do the same thing. Control, and instead of plus key, use the minus key. So plus to zoom in, minus to zoom out. Uh, another new feature that has been added is a multiple edit confirmation box. Uh, a lot of people didn't know that you can edit multiple tags in Scratch Live. So uh, let's say these are all blank or something, whatever. If you just highlight whatever ones you wanted, all of them, like so, and then you can just change one and we'll change it to, well, let's say, house. And now, before, there wouldn't be this dialog box right here. Um, it would just change automatically. And I don't want to change that to all the house. But uh, a lot of people, they didn't know this, and they had you know a lot of files highlighted, and then they changed the artist, for example, and they hit enter, and then, oh shit, they just fucking changed the artist for all 200 songs they have highlighted. And there's no undo function, so uh, you, know, you can imagine that would suck having to go through and change all 200 songs back to the correct artist name. So yes, now we have multiple edit box, so there's no reason not for, for that to happen now. Uh, another new feature that I am particularly fond of is the uh, improved auto looping. Now in old versions, in previous versions, uh, if, especially if you use the auto loops, um, they tend to go out of sync rather easily, uh, particularly with the lower lo auto loops like the half beat or the one beat. And uh, they went out of sync uh, pretty quickly. But now uh, in the new 1.8.2 version, the auto loops stay in sync much, much longer, and you don't have to ride the pitch uh, as much, or if at all, to uh, keep them in sync. So I'm going to demonstrate that real quick. So let's uh, start playing this track right here. And uh, we're going to play, start up the second track. And let's bring it in. Okay, so now let's do an auto loop here. Uh, let's do a two beat one and if, if you look at the beat match waveform right here in the middle you notice that it's not going out of sync right now dude it's staying pretty much solid and this is really good because before it would have been already way out of sync by now in the old versions and so let's let's uh, let's sync up this one too and as you can see you know the beat match waveform is nice and staying in sync and in time you don't have to ride the pitch and so that's a very nice feature. Let me stop these tracks real quick now. So yes, there we go. Auto loops are going to stay in sync much longer now. Now, this doesn't do any auto beat matching for you, and you've got to have a pretty accurate BPM already because that's how the auto looping works in Scratch Live. It's with the, the tag BPM. So make sure you have a, a BPM value and build overviews on your files to get the BPM if you don't know that by now. And that's about it for 1.8.2 for now. So, uh, so other than that, mainly it's just bug fixes and uh, just the three features I already demonstrated. Oh, also a CDJ 400 
uh, native support has been re-added in this first uh, public beta version. I don't know if it's going to be in the final version. That all depends on if there's any more problems that were um, going to be found because they had to drop uh, CDJ400 support from the 1.8.1 version because there was problems with it with USB hubs and uh, not working correctly with two of them connected to hubs. So for now, it's been reinstated, and, but you know that might change in the final version. I don't know. So there you go. This is the first look at Scratch Live 1.8.2. Again, new features, library zoom, control or Apple plus the plus key and minus key to zoom in and out to increase the font size and multiple edit confirmation dialog box. Oh. Let me try that again. There you go. So there you go, multiple edit box, and again, the improved syncing with auto loops. So there you go, there you go. that is 1.8.2 version. Uh, you can download that from the Scratch Live forums, www.scratchlive.net. Look in the general DJ section, and there's a sticky thread at the top. Go in there and follow the link, and then you can download and try out the new version and the new features.